What's up guys, Demon one 2, and 2, and it's List Day. Ah yes, List Day. And today we're looking at the top 10 worst skills in Duel Links. For the most part, Duel Links is just half TCG Yu-Gi-Oh. Everything's just a little bit smaller. However, it does have one glaring major difference between regular Yugi mans and digital Yugi mans And that is the skills. Basically, instead of playing as yourself in Duel Links, you play as one of the many characters from one of the animes. And each one of those characters has a bunch of unlockable skills that you can use when building a deck. You're only allowed to use one per deck, though. And therein lies the problem. Some skills would be okay if you could use more than one, but they get overshadowed by skills that actually function. <laughs> So some of these are okay, they just don't get used because some other skill the character has serves their decks and the type of decks that they play a lot better. So without further ado, let's look at some bad skills in Duel Links. Ah, and this first one here, number 10, is a fun one. Black Rose Gale. This one is for Akiza, obviously. And it reads, can only be used in the turn which you special summon Black Rose Dragon while you control said Black Rose Dragon. Destroy all cards on the field. <laughs> You can only use it once per duel, and you can't use it if you start the duel with a bunch of things in your extra deck that aren't plants or rose dragon monsters. So you gotta play it in an Akiza deck. Now you might be thinking, But Dave, blowing up the field is good! B and I would agree with you. Except for the fact that's exactly what Black Rose Dragon does. Why are you wasting your skill slot on an effect that the boss monster, the effect needs you to have, already does? <laughs> why? The only thing I can think of why you would even begin to care. I care. Is simply because it says special summon Black Rose Dragon, not synchro summon Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose Dragon effect goes off when it's synchro summoned. This thing just says while you control a special summoned Black Rose Dragon. So if you somehow manage to either cheese it out of the extra deck or resurrect it from the graveyard after properly synchro summoning it, you can then basically get to reuse your Black Rose Dragon. I guess the other way to spin it would be that because it is a skill, your opponent can't really respond to it. Skills aren't activated effects in Duel Links, they just kind of happen, and you can't really do anything about it, which is, you know, bullshit, frankly, in the most case, but even still. I feel like that's really split in hairs, but it is an advantage, I suppose. It's super redundant. Number nine is Hero Flash. This skill's proud owner is Jaden Yuki. Once every two of your turns. Here we go. At the beginning of your turn, you can add one of these cards in sequential order from the ether <laughs> outside of your deck to your hand. The marvels of it being a digital format. Uh, draw phase effect. Hmm, let's see here. It's important to know that this skill doesn't work unless you have four normal hero monsters in your deck. Ew. On your second turn, add H, Heated Heart. On your fourth turn, add E, Emergency Call. Thank God. On your sixth turn, add R, Righteous Justice. On your eighth turn, add O, Oversoul. And finally, on the tenth of your turns, the twentieth turn of the duel, add Hero Flash with two exclamation points. That's terrible. So, you've waited an unrealistically absurd amount of time in order to get this thing's final effect. You've got your fifth card. What could it possibly do? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Hero Flash is a normal spell card that allows you to banish the H, E, R, and O from your graveyard, which carries the implication you managed to get them in your graveyard somehow. Also, you can special summon a vanilla elemental hero monster from your deck. Holy f crap. It can attack directly though. Oh, we did it. We did it. You can poke with Neos like an absolute jackass. The best part of this skill is on your fourth turn, you get E-Call. <laughs> That's about it. But it's on your fourth turn and E-Call is a setup card. This is so freaking slow. It's it's practically a joke. Hero Flash. More like, what, what's the what's the opposite of the Flash? Re reverse Flash? It was me, Barry. Except he's still fast. Number eight is Smile Bright. Scud skill. Scud's, Scud skill. Scud. Scud missile. Scud's the bully character from Dark Side of Dimensions. They made him a character for some reason. And this is one of his unique skills. What do? At the beginning of your turn, your opponent takes 50 burn damage. Oh, whole world ending. This skill won't activate if your opponent has a thousand or left life points. Let that would sink in. You're hitting them for absolute pennies worth of damage and you can't even kill them with it. <laughs> Death by a thousand paper cuts is something that does technically work in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Trickstars has proven this, but it only kind of works when you have like a mess of continuous spell cards on board and it's a very specific game state and it still doesn't always necessarily work and it's a super gimmick. And this is by a skill, so it probably doesn't even trip half that crap. This sucks. <laughs> 
incredibly disrespectful. <laughs> Holy crap, this must be a joke. It's so bad. At least it does something though. A lot of the ones below this don't even really do anything. This one at least does a thing. It's just it doesn't do very much at all. 50 burn damage. Ah, number seven is Aster Phoenix's skill, Destroyer of D. <laughs> I bet he is. This thing's a wall of text. Holy crap. Can be used from your fourth turn and onward. Joy. When you have 3,000 or less life points, it has an activation condition. That's, that's, that's not cool. Play one Destiny Hero Dark Angel. Ooh. From your hand to your opponent's side of the field. Big oof. Okay, so you give your opponent some free resources. That's, uh, that's not good. But I mean, Dark Angel does, like, Jinzo your opponent's spells, like, once. And it blows itself up, so I guess it, that's, it's trying to set up its stupid effect, I guess. But, but that's, that's just icing on the cake. What else does this, this stupid thing do? If your opponent controls Destiny Hero Plasma, you can, uh, top deck the Dark Angel to the top of their deck instead of putting it on their field, I guess. You can only use the skill if your deck contains only monsters that are Destiny Hero monsters. <laughs> and you can only use it once per duel. Okay, Plasma is a fantastic freaking floodgate monster with a relinquished style spot removal. So if your opponent has that, you're, you're pretty much screwed. It also implies that either you gave that to them, which was horridly stupid, or B, the skill is relying you on, on, on a mirror match. <laughs> a mirror match that has gone horribly wrong. I don't know why. I mean, I guess you're 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 trying to brick your opponent by giving them the Dark Angel, but they're gonna give it to you because Dark Angel can summon itself to the, to the other field. What? A, it, this thing's a convoluted mess. I'm actually curious to know if if the, you you guys know any gimmicky crap you can do with this because this is a this is a really strange skill. It's bad and weird. All right, kids, I think we're out of the forest. The rest of these are just terrible. They're not even interesting bad. Gem Dragon, go! Mokuba! Dark Side of Dimensions Mokuba, specifically. F***ing idiot. If your deck contains three or more of the monsters listed below, you will have improved chances of having a normal monster in your opening hand. Joy of joys. And it's the Gem Dragons. You got, oh boy. Hiyo Zandryu! Luster Dragon 1 and 2. And Alexandrite Dragon. Rest in peace, Labradoodle. How could Okay, so you need to run a bunch of normals so that you have an increased chance of, of opening normals. <laughs> I'm gonna add a bunch of normals to my deck so that I have increased chance of opening normals. I, I hope that sounds as redundant to you people as it does to me. But sure, you get doubly the chance of, of bricking your hand with your stupid Alexandra Dragon. <laughs> Why? Are you having a stroke? Nah, this is just, if you if you play a bunch of bricks, you have a good chance of opening your bricks. <laughs> nice! Um! Alexandra Dragon's a 2K beater, I guess. You got me there. <laughs> Number five, Rollin' Boost. This one's got Joey Wheeler and Duke Devlin. It's not just one character this time. That's neat. Could be used each time your light points decrease by 2,000. Reveal one monster in your hand to your opponent and then roll the die. The level of the monster revealed becomes the die result until the end of the turn. Nice, I can normal summon my red eyes black dragon or Orgoth the Relentless. Holy freaking crap. This is gonna go one of two ways. It's either gonna turn a normal summonable level four into a level six and then you bricked yourself, or you can turn like a level six into a level four or lower. Probably the function of the skill. How about you don't just play things you can't summon? Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? Granted, in a pinch, it'd be nice, I guess. I guess the weirdest part about it is it's introducing an element of RNG in order to unbrick yourself, which is, uh, if it doesn't work, it, it doesn't help. What a waste. And you gotta be, you gotta take a bunch of damage in order to use it, so you're in a losing position, so you better, it better damn well freaking work. Oh man, why can't Gamble be good in Yu-Gi-Oh? It's, even the skills stink. Speaking of which, number four is the last Gamble, again, Joey Wheeler. Can be used from turn seven onward. Damn it, you. My skills blow! Reduce your life points to 100. Shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck, then roll the die. Draw cards equal to the result. You can only use it once per duel. All right, well, okay, so by turn seven, if you haven't lost, something's gone seriously wrong or you're stalling. And if you didn't lose by then, reducing your life points to 100 is certainly going to make it more likely that you lose next turn, certainly. And you need to go super minus for a shot at going plus. However, it is called Last Gamble, 
So uh, it's at least on brand. I gotta give it that. And anyone who's late for registration will be disqualified. Mokuba, make sure Wheeler's late. <laughs> it would certainly be an absolute upset if it went off though and you got like six cards. <laughs> All right, that's it. The rest of them aren't even fun anymore. Number three, card shuffle. Card shuffle's Arcana's skill because the guy on the on the card card shuffle kind of looks like him. What do? Pay 300 light points to shuffle your f***ing deck. You can only use it once per turn. <laughs> Why? It's a waste of life points. It's a waste of life points. Its best function would be if you have a card that like needs you to like I don't know, do a thing with life points to be at a certain thing. And this is just a really easy way to like at will manipulate your life points, I guess. Shuffling your deck is not good in Yu-Gi-Oh. Why are you pulling me? I'm right. Most search cards allow you to shuffle your deck and get you a thing. Shuffling your deck is actually not even the point of the card. If you feel that you need to shuffle your deck because you keep drawing poorly, that just means your deck is bad. <laughs> you wouldn't be drawing bricks if you built it right. And even if for some reason that wasn't true, shuffling your deck doesn't change the odds of drawing the next brick. That's not how it works. Unless you know what your next card is, that's not how that works. The only time you'd ever want to at will shuffle your deck is if you're playing against, I don't know, spirals. And you know what, it's Duel Links. You're not. And even then, that's still bad. <laughs> what a joke. Here we go, number two, draw pass. <laughs> draw sense pass. During the draw phase, instead of conducting your normal draw, gain 300 life points instead. You can only use this three times per duel. <laughs> Skipping your normal draw for any amount of life points would be bad for 300 life points is comical. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, but it does contain... Ugh. What are they gonna do for you, baby? What are they gonna do? Oh no, I'm gonna lose. I need 300 life points not to lose instead of, I don't know, the next card in my deck that might help. Ooh, what? Normally I'm pretty resilient against this stuff, but uh, this is confounding. I am perplexed, bamboozled, vexed, bemused even. What is this for? <laughs> and the best part about it, it's like almost every character has this. So like, they really think we want this as an option. We don't. No one in the history of Yugi Mans has ever used this skill. This skill is terrible. How is there even one worse than this? All right, we do have a dishonorable mention. I don't know how. Uh, other than there's just a million skills in this game, so one of them has to be the 11th bad one. You don't deserve to exist in my world. It's a freaking sentence. Choose one monster in the field that's equipped with an opponent's equipped spell that has a thousand or more additional attack power than its original and send it to another dimension. I am not kidding. That's what it says. Wow, Konami, missed opportunity to say the Shadow Realm, you Absolute idiots. Another dimension? Seriously? Okay, early 90s ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z. And he sent Kui to another dimension. Time to launch someone into another dimension, for I will let you go to another dimension. Now the skill's not awful. It allows you to basically uh, once per duel free spot removal of an opponent playing Power of the Guardians like a jackass. But uh, I couldn't pass up a chance to make fun of that other dimension text. That's really cheesy. <laughs> Who wrote that? Today's sponsor is your playmat. Like literally, the one that you currently own. Thank you, Steve's playmat. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's your playmat, the, the name of the website. If you guys want custom card sleeves, link in the description below. Upload your image, get your, get your, get your cost sleeves. They're cool. I gotta get some nifty Melfi ones for Amanda. All right, boys, what could possibly be worse than skipping your draw phase or just randomly shuffling your deck for no reason? Life point boost Omega. Again, like every character can learn this. Increase your starting life by 5,000. Wow, that's more than double. Reduces your opening hand by four. Whoa, wait a sec. 
Oh my god, a million notifications! Worst things about Duel Links Part 2 inbound! Yeah, you start with four! Were they worth it? Was the 9,000 light points worth opening with literally no cards? Would that ever be worth it? Your opponent would have to literally do nothing for like three turns before this was worth it. Because you are top decking the first turn of the duel. If you're going second. <laughs> that better be freaking pot of green. And even then you would have been better off just having an opening hand in regular life points like everyone else in the game. They're all perfectly fine. Hell, they're all beating you. Life points don't freaking matter. That's right. The points don't matter, just like a congressman from Rhode Island. <laughs> wow, we seem to have the entire state of Rhode Island here. Right? No, I'm not skipping my draw face for freaking 300. No, I'm not opening with nothing for 9K. Holy freaking shit, you'd have to draw into like that stupid leaf card into another one of the leaves. And that's still not even good. But Dave! <laughs> That f***ing really sucks! I'm sure there's a gimmick! You know what, you're probably right. There's probably some extra deck monster that gives a crap about the differential in your life points and that might actually be useful, but you're not starting with any cards! You can't make anything! If your opponent can muster more than 5,000 damage, you've literally gained nothing. Anyway guys, that was, uh, that was the worst skills in Duel Links. These suck! I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and whether you guys would be interested in maybe doing like the best skills in Duel Links. No one ever wants to see the best one. They all want to see me dump on garbage. <laughs> anyway guys, if you don't troll the event, I'll see you guys next time. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my totally rad dueling. Watching more of these videos is almost as fine as Taya's ass? What? I'm not saying that. Fine. Then it's time to duel.